Welcome, my machine head friends, to www.rei-tv.com. Today we're talking about marketing. Marketing houses free on the internet. We consider ourselves real estate investors, but the truth of it is we're really marketers at heart. Without marketing, we don't have a deal. Without marketing, we don't have a seller. Without marketing, we don't have a buyer. And for those of us whose businesses are more advanced, without marketing, we don't have people working for us. We don't have someone hanging our signs. We don't have people showing our houses. We really don't have much of a business without marketing. So today we're going to talk about marketing online for free. There's a lot of different resources. But first, a word from our sponsor, who happens today to be www.reitv.com. I can't think of a better sponsor to plug. Notice we got it on our uh, little bandit sign here, huh? I can't tell you how many of these little little things I went through in the last few years, but. They always work, so I figure why steer from something that's tried and true, huh? So there we go. Anyway, back to the show. Like I said, today we're talking about how to market TV, how to market TVs online, how to market homes online for free using the internet. In the age of Web 2.0, you hear that a lot lately. And you know, the old internet, you had a website, which was basically like a billboard. You had a billboard out there in cyberspace, and someone went to it. Now, Web 2.0, the Internet's becoming more and more interactive, and that's what Web 2.0 refers to, which is a big plus for real estate investors like us. Places that you can market for free, first off, we have Craigslist, www.craigslist.com. I don't know, unless you've been hiding under a rock somewhere, I'm sure you've heard of Craigslist. Uh, but it's a great place to not only find deals, but to sell your deals. And I'll tell you this, it's one of the first things we do when we get a contract made. There's three sites that we that we hit when we get a contract for a house. We go to www.craigslist.com, www.kijiji.com, K-I-J-I-J-I, kijiji.com, and we also go to www.backpage.com. These are classified sites. You might know of some more. As a matter of fact, if you do know of some more, if you could send them in, uh, click on that little link down there that says comment. If you could post some more for our, so our readers and, and viewers can you know, get some more information by helping each other, that would be great. But those three sites will let you market for absolutely free. Craigslist alone gets some, some goofy high number. It's, it's something like 5 million or 10 million hits a day. Now, there's certain categories in each of these. As a matter of fact, in our business, each myself and the folks that my ground partners that work for me, we each have a day of the week, and every day of the week, it's someone's turn to go to those three sites, Craigslist, Kijiji, and Backpage.com, and post three things. Post an ad that uh, we're looking for bird dogs. We're always looking for bird dogs, and we have an automated automated system for that. One of these days, I'll uh, I'll do a I'll, I'll do an episode on, on how to automate your bird dog collecting. But if you want to look at that, it's www.birddogcash.com. We also have, um, so, what, what, so we post three things every day of the week on Craigslist for our areas. We're looking for bird dogs. We're looking for people that want to buy houses wholesale. And I know there's a third. Bird dogs buy, oh yeah, we buy houses. <laughs> so, but selling houses on Craigslist is the first thing we do, is we hit Craigslist with a house. Craigslist, Kijiji, and Backpage. It's also important for you to have a website. Now, our website that we use is www.oneeasyhome.com, and you can go there anytime and, and actually see a list of the houses that we currently have for sale. And i got to admit, not all of our houses make it up there. Um, we have a nice tight list of buyers, and, and sometimes wholesale deals, we just contact our short list. But the majority of our deals do get up there. Uh, at oneeasyhome.com and then we also have oneeasysale.com but today we're talking about selling now when you post your for sale deals on Craigslist and these other sites you want to use keywords that Google might be likely to pick up and I know you've all heard of Google just so you know what a keyword is if you're not too into marketing online and, and that type of thing the keywords are the words that you might type in. So if you're looking, well, if you want to buy a, if you're looking for new shoes, you might type, you know, uh, pumps or high heels or keds or something like that. And those are keywords. So the words that you'd likely type in that you're doing a search for is a keyword. So when you post your ads on Craigslist and these other sites, you want to use keywords in those ads that are going to help people find your site without even going to Craigslist. If you have an ad on Craigslist, 
Somebody can go to Google and type handyman special or uh, Chicago fixer upper or buy house Seattle or, or whatever it might be. If you have those words in your, uh, in your ad, your ad might come up. We did it as, as an experiment once. We went and we put an ad on Craigslist. The next day, we went to Google and we typed Handyman Special Chicago. And the third listing on page one was our Craigslist ad for Handyman, uh, for Fixer Upper or Handyman or whatever we did in Chicago. So when you're placing your ads on, on these sites, make sure that you put good keywords in it. Motivated Seller, Handyman Special, Investor Special, Will Take Offers, uh, Fixer Upper. Those are words that people are more likely to type when they're searching for a house, whether it's an investor or whether it's just a retail buyer. Because this works, this works for retail buyers when you're, when you're selling a house that you've rehabbed or, or that you've got an option on that you're going to sell to an end user and when you're selling to other investors. Um, well, just something I want to show you. When you post it on Craigslist, Craigslist, if you type out a bunch of sentences on Craigslist, it's not going to break them up into sentence form. You're going to have one big paragraph that's really hard to read. So I wanted to show you this. This is a little bit, this is HTML code. code. HTML, hypertext markup language, is, is what it stands for. But this will show you how to put paragraphs when you're using Craigslist. You're going to put the little, little thing that looks like, well, I, I'll show you here. Um, B, R, and then a slash. And this. So when you type it on Craigslist and you're filling it in, that's what you're going to want to put in there. You're going to want to have a bracket, br slash, and another another bracket. The brackets they look like little V's on their side, you know, like, like this, and like that. So um, by putting that br inside of those inverted V's with the slash, that means break. And that's going to break your paragraphs up, so it's not going to look like one big clump. Now, Kijiji and Backpage do that for you. Another thing, when you're posting on Craigslist, that you might want to do, you might want to have a word bold or a word in italics or a word underlined. Well, you're going to do this type of bracket. And then if you want an underline, you're just going to put a U in it. And you're going to put that before the word. So a bracket, then a U, before the word, or words that you want underlined. And then after the words you want underlined, you're just going to put a slash like that. So bracket, U, slash, bracket. And that word will be underlined. If you want it in bold, it's bracket, B, bracket, before the word. And bracket, B, slash, bracket, after the word. And it'll be bolded. And you can do the same thing for italics. So that's going to make your ad stand out a little bit. Also, when you're placing these ads, it's important to have a nice, catchy headline when you're selling your house. Keywords should always be used in the headline. That's one of the first things that the Google spiders search for, is, is keywords. So if you're selling a, a fixer-upper, you, you might put in the headline, Handyman Special, and then the name of the city that it's in. Fixer-upper. The headline is really going to make or break it. In any marketing, the headline makes or breaks you. It has to, you know, when you're writing a sales letter, when you're hanging a bandit sign, when you're placing an ad, no matter what it is, that's what's going to make or break you. Not, not totally, but that's what's going to get the first attention and make people either decide to click on that ad and read it or not. So make the headline firing. Motivated seller. We had one I ran last week. This is a house. We have a house under contract for 248, and it's worth about 320. So we're trying to get about 380 for it, so we can make the 35, 40 thousand dollar difference. And I ran that in the paper in great big letters across the top. It said, "We're desperate," and the phone rang off the hook. We're desperate, and then the body of the ad. But again, people won't click on it unless they see a good headline. So give it a little bit of thought and try to use again those keywords in the headline that someone might type in Google if they're looking for a house. I did mention my website before where I sell houses personally, www.1ezhome.com. Um, the company's running a special. If you like the website, you can go to www.investorpro.com slash bonus, and they'll give anybody that goes to that site 50 bucks off 
um, off the setup. I've used these sites for many years. I have oneeasyhome.com. I also have oneeasysale.com. Oneeasyhome.com is where we sell our houses. Oneeasysale.com is the site that we use uh, to buy houses, to find houses for sale on. Um, if you're interested in using them, I, I, I'm just in, I, I've just used them for years, and I love them. They'll, they'll change the websites. I make a phone call, and, and they change the website to say whatever I wanted to say. But really, the templates are so good, I, you're, I've barely changed it since I started. But www.investorpro.com slash bonus will get you 50 bucks off if you're looking for a website. Um, also, uh, when you try to sell a house, go to Google. Go to Yahoo and type, let's say you live in Cleveland. Go to Yahoo and type, sell my house, Cleveland. And you're going to get a whole slew of, of, of investors that come up. Um, you know, there's a lot of different websites that you pay 50 bucks or 100 bucks or 200 or 500, depending on the site and the size of the city, where you pay for the, you pay for the county, and then anyone that goes to that site and fills it out saying, here's the house I'm selling, it comes directly to you. So... Type, go to Google, type, sell my house, Cleveland, click, boom. You're going to get a whole list of investors looking to buy houses in Cleveland. It takes some time, but sit there and fill all of those out, and you're very likely to find a buyer. So, Craigslist.com, Kijiji.com, Backpage.com, hopefully your own website, and then Google. And that gives you a whole slew of weapons to sell your houses quickly online. And they all cost a big fat zero. So